a woman went to the Arlington National Cemetery, right, and she took a picture uh, by the unknown, um, the Tomb of the Unknown Tomb Soldier, unknown. which is supposed to be the most holy or sacred place in yeah. that uh, cemetery. And there's a sign next to the uh, Tomb of the Unknown Soldier uh, that says something to the effect of, uh, "Please uh, be respectful and silent." And silent. And she took a picture where she wasn't so respectful. She and was flipping, flipping off the camera, yeah. and she was screaming. There it is. There it is. Yeah. So it's not clear if she's actually screaming or pretending she's screaming. I think she's pretending. Yeah. Now, earlier, the day before, she had taken a picture. So she's, get this, so she works for a nonprofit organization, right, that helps, I forget what their deal is, but they, they help out people who are struggling. Yes. And see, she won some contest or something. She was awarded this trip. Mm -hmm. So she goes on this trip. So the night before, she took a picture next to a no smoking sign, and she was smoking. So this time, she's taking the pic. Now, people are, she, they want to fire her from her job because she did this. It's amazing to me. So uh, people who have, you know, relatives who are buried there are going ape shit. Right. There are other people who purport to be, you know, pro-military, pro-troops. They're going ape shit. Right. And they started a Facebook page to get, have her fired. Right. Um, wh what is her name? Lindsay Stone. Okay. Mm -hmm. So there's a there's a fire Lindsay Stone Facebook page, and so she doesn't get to have a job ever because she did this. What she has to get a job. She's somewhere. not disrespecting <laughs> the soldiers uh, right. who are buried there. She's this, she's making fun and doing a parody about that sign. Right. That's what she likes to do. Apparently, she likes to take pictures of herself disrespecting various signs, yes. smoking in front of a no, no smoking sign, right. and being loud and disrespectful in front of a sign that that, that asks for it. Yes. What is the big deal? If you really care about the troops, if you really care about the exactly. military, here's what I want you to do. Stop crying about Lindsey Stone, mm -hmm. and instead, go call your local uh, uh, congressman. congressman and demand that we stop cutting benefits for our returning servicemen. Right. And that we should increase their salaries and their pay and their benefits. We have uh, an outrageous and unacceptable number of uh, military personnel committing suicides. Um, the rate of homelessness is just shocking. I think it's one in six vets are now homeless. Uh, they are suffering from massive. Uh, Bill O'Reilly would say, "Show me syndrome. one." There's, show me one. What are you talking about? Show me one. Yeah, I mean, There's no the unemployment rate. We, we're cutting their job training, and this is what makes me sick about our society. When we engage in this tokenism and, some, and symbolic gestures, rather than engaging in real, meaningful. Uh, policies that impact real lives. Yeah. So I see these uh, little magnets on cars so support our troops. What, what does that even mean, support our troops? <laughs> I don't even understand. Support what? Support their it actions? It means don't say anything Supp bad against the war ever. That's exactly right. That's what that means. It's Shut war up. propaganda. And, it, and, yeah. and the other thing I can't stand is when we say, oh, there are heroes, 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 heroes. You know what? They're not our heroes. You know what they are? They're our military personnel. And you know what they need? They need jobs. Right. You know what they need? Health care. Right. They need they, they need to be treated like regular human beings who return from a, a very difficult assignment who need real assistance. Not to be called heroes and flag w waving their faces and to have a card magnet. That's not the, they don't need that. Right. And the same people who, uh, who um, you know, purport to love the troops in Washington are the same ones who are cutting their benefits all the time. It makes me sick. Uh, used to be you did one tour uh, during a war. Of, uh, in Vietnam. Now they're doing three tours, four tours, five tours, and you wonder why these people are flipping out and killing people and then coming home and killing themselves. These are, these are people who, you know, they say your brain isn't done developing until you're 25. And we're doing this to these kids who are 18, 19, 20 years old. We're sending them to Afghanistan, five tours. It's, you know what? Uh, it's, uh, that's, that's how you respect the military, if you stop doing that stuff. Uh, not by getting upset because some lady took some funny picture that she put on Facebook.